is a little over 24 hours since the homes of over 200 residents living along the Glyphi Lagoon were demolished. And the big question is, how are these people coping? Yeah. I have four kids and I've been here for six months now. Mm. Mm. So where did you pass the night um, last night? Yes, here. We use mosquito nets. Mm. Okay, so this is where we pass the night. Where did they put up after losing their homes? When when they came, they didn't have even have patience and any other thing. They just used, let's say some man left his things. He only removed the, the glasses and left the things that they should break it on him. He doesn't have any place to sleep. I have three. I have two of them. 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 I have two of and they come down, you could not die a years, six these are the concerns and the plights of the affected residents. However, the assembly has a plan for them and it believes the measure will help the lagoon regenerate. Eventually when the lagoon is all taken over, then it means when it rains, we are not going to have a holding area. So then there will be a backflow such that areas where hitherto we were not seeing flooding will start getting flooded. Those areas rather possibly may have um, uh, permits and all that to build there. And then unfortunately, they would rather be bearing the brunt of those who do not have permits or have any legal uh, uh, right to build where they are building. So that is one. Two, you can see people dumping the lagoon. And that is the second prong where we are supposed to take action. Because if we take off the buildings and the rubbish take over the lagoon, we are we've not done anything. So the second prong is we are going to take care of those who are dumping over there. And that is the next exercise we are embarking on. While these plans are yet to materialize, I ask if that is a priority for the residents. Look at what is behind you. You couldn't stop them. If you could see there is one far far over there. They stopped them so many years now. What have they done? They did demolition at the other side, far, far, for two to three years now. Nothing has been done. Nothing has been done. Look at the vast lagoon you are seeing here. If you want to dredge it, you can easily dredge it. You can dredge it. Our focus is that the assembly should have stopped the dumping of the refuse, which has generated all this. Because he told us that previously, during NDC time, they came, then they gave us a boundary. If you look at behind you, there is a, a bridge. And they said the bridge, nobody should cross that bridge. That was the boundary. But then when you go in there, some people also have built. So we pleaded to, with, the, with the assembly that he should give it last time because this time we are not going, we are not moving ahead. But if you want to protect us, will you destroy our houses? That's the what they are trying to do. Uh. But at least they should have given us time to pack out. But all of the Sunday we were there in the morning, I was taking care of my kids for school. Uh, when I was down for my firstborn, I realized there was, the car is already here. So I have nothing to do. So I have to stop taking care of my kids and go and pack out. I, I was done from my room packing the things when I realized that the glitter was already here. The assembly is optimistic of the lagoon's regeneration. For now, what I can tell you is we are going to dredge it such that um, the lagoon would still be there such that when it rains, it can hold the water from uh, the adjoining community so that it will seep gradually into the sea. So the tricycles that go in there to dump, if we stop them, where do they take the tricycles? You know, the regional minister started a project where we are 
uh, clean Accra and he said in his last uh, interview that every municipality is supposed to have a transfer station. So the idea is we are going to have a transfer station sited closer to that area such that the tricycles are no longer going to dump in the lagoon but rather they will take their rubbish to the transfer station. That is what I mean by a three prong attack and the area and this whole rubbish thing will be taken care of. This is one of the reasons why the assembly carried out the demolition exercise on Thursday. Now the assembly says it is going to put up a refuse transfer site at this place to minimize the dumping of refuse into the lagoon. Residents who live here have expressed mixed reactions. My name is Kojo Atman reporting for City News.